through years with uh, this person. Uh, she's a political hack, the Attorney General. Uh, the judge is obviously extremely friendly with the group, and we'll see uh, what happens. I think maybe he uh, may surprise people on a positive side. We'll have to see what happens exactly. But uh, we've proven this case so conclusively. Uh, we've asked for directed verdict many times. Uh, they don't have any facts. They don't have any evidence against us. Millions and millions of pages, years of litigation, and all politically motivated. She campaigned on a, I will get Trump. If you've ever seen any of the, uh, seen any of her clips, they're horrible clips, actually, the anger. She's got serious Trump derangement syndrome. There's no question about it. Letitia James, the corrupt attorney general of New York. So we've proven our case. There's not one witness against us other than one person who is a, a deranged. He's got a lot of problems. He's a man who's uh, been convicted of lying. He's a felon, convicted felon, and uh, not a good person. But that's their only witness, and he's now crashed and burned. They have no witnesses. And by the way, that witness took back everything that he said. He took back everything he said in court, took it all back. So they have no case. It's a shame that a thing like this is able to happen. Uh, businesses leave New York. Uh, she went after Exxon and they decided to move to Texas. And uh, hundreds of millions of dollars they pay in taxes. I paid over $300 million of taxes over the last number of years. $300 million. And uh, they don't recognize that. They don't recognize anything. So not think of it, not one witness millions of pages of document, years of this nonsense, and now it goes on. And one other factor, we won this case already in the Court of Appeals. The Court of Appeals voted in favor of us. But this judge has been very, very slow to accept that opinion because that's not the opinion that he wants. But we won in the Court of Appeals. That's the boss of this judge. He has to know that. And it was a conclusive victory, statute of limitations and other things. And that case has already been won. So uh, that's the story. And I thought we'd come down to 40 Wall Street, which is a great building. And you'd get a chance to see one of the nicest buildings in New York and a convenient place. And I don't have to pay any rent because we have it. And it's been a very successful building. But it's a shame to have to have gone through this for years and years and years. And now we'll see if we're going to get an honest verdict. We ne didn't have a jury. We had no rights to a jury. It's a statute that's never been used before for a purpose like this. I just watched a certain broadcast and they said, you know, they've been looking, has it ever been used before? This is a statute that's a consumer fraud statute, never been used for anything like this before. And it's a shame. It's, uh, it's really a, uh, it's a witch hunt in the truest sense of the word. It's election interference. And uh, it just came out, I just, it was just, Right now, Letitia James visited Joe Biden in the White House numerous times during the Trump witch hunt. And this just came out about 10 minutes ago, I got it. And so it's all, it's all a conspiracy to try and get Biden, who can't put two sentences together, trying to get him into office. So I just want to let you know that uh, we have our best poll numbers, we have the best everything, despite this, and maybe because of this, because the people of the United States, all of those people back there, but the people of the United States really get it. They get it better than anybody else. Yeah, please. Mr. President, do you agree with your lawyers what they said on Tuesday, that you should not be prosecuted or could not be prosecuted if you ordered SEAL Team 6 to kill a political Well, you're talking about a totally different case, the immunity. I say this, on immunity, very simple. If a president of the United States does not have immunity, he'll be totally ineffective because he won't be able to do anything because it will mean he'll be prosecuted strongly prosecuted perhaps uh, as soon as he leaves office by his by the opposing party so a president of the united states i'm not talking just me i'm talking any president has to have immunity as an example biden could come out and you could get him on the border you could get him on what happened in afghanistan a horrible most embarrassing moment in the history of this country you could get him on a lot of different things you could get him in taking cash from countries you could get him on the prosecutor not prosecuting his son or the company or whoever it was, Burisma, uh, in, in Ukraine. You could get him on that, uh, where he, it was a quid pro quo, if you remember that. Uh, if they don't drop the prosecutor, we're not giving him a billion dollars of U.S. funds. Uh, if you don't have immunity, you can 
you know, I mean, you won't be making any decisions, so you have to have it. And I like it to the, fa the fact that uh, police have to have their control back. They have to have respect. And you can always have a bad apple, you can always have something happen, but at the same time, you have to, you have to stop crime in this country. It's very much like that, it's very similar to that, but you have to have immunity for a president, and I think most people are seeing that. I've read a lot of legal reports lately and scholarly reports that are saying you really have to have, a president of this country has to have immunity, or they're not gonna be able to function in office. Yeah, Bob? President Trump, we're just days away from the Iowa caucuses. What percentage of your time these days is spent on your campaign, and what percentage is spent on your legal issues? Well, see, my legal issues, every one of them, every one, civil and the criminal ones, are all set up by Joe Biden, crooked Joe Biden. This is something that's never happened in this country. Even when you look at this, this is all about Biden and her meeting. So even the civil ones, this is civil, they're set up by Biden. Uh, every single, just about, case that I'm involved in is set up by Biden. They're doing it for election interference. And in a way, I guess you'd consider it part of the campaign, because if you really look at it, they are doing this. It's never been done like this in this country. It's like we're a third world country, a banana republic. But every one of the things that you write about are Biden indictments. And uh, I don't know, you know, I just got a poll. We just had a poll. It just came out and we're leading massively in Iowa. We're leading very big in New Hampshire. We're leading because the people understand this stuff. These are all set up. Every time somebody sees me in court, remember, Joe Biden and his thugs that surround him did it. They're trying to get a man in office that can't put two sentences together, and they're doing that. But so far, we seem to do very well. You know, the Iowa office is Monday, and the Benton New Hampshire Tuesday. Are there any back and forth for the Eugene Carroll case on Wednesday? Yeah, well, that's another one that's uh, sponsored by Reed Hoffman and some Democrat operatives. I never saw this woman in my life other than they have a picture with her and her husband, uh, John Johnson, a nice guy who was a newscaster many years ago. I remember him, and she said horrible things about him uh, since. I mean, horrible, horrible things, called him bad names. Uh, I have no idea who this woman is. I have absolutely no idea. The whole thing is ridiculous that this is even a case. This should never have happened. But again, this is sponsored by the Democrats, it's another case, all sponsored by, it's a demeaning kind of a thing, and that's what they want to do. It's called election interference. And yeah, I'm going to go to it, and I'm going to explain. I don't know who the hell she is. I have no idea. They called me up years ago, and they said, do you know about this woman 25 or 30 years ago? She doesn't even know the date, the time, the month, the season. She has no idea. And if you read it, if you watch, Take a look at the Anderson Cooper interview of her. And if you take a look at that, Trump is so innocent, but we have been given a very unfair trial there too. I don't get very fair trials in New York. You made a decision about whether you're going to show up for the federal trial. You showed up here in New York for your civil fraud trial. You, you're, you just said you're going to show up for the E. Jean Carroll case. Are you planning to show up in court for your civil trial and you're going to show up for the E. Jean Carroll case? Are you planning to show up in court yeah. When they begin, whenever they begin. Sure, the, the sure. Documents case, the documents case. I, I would do that. Well, the documents case, I just hear where they want to try and exonerate Biden, and he didn't have the Presidential Records Act, and I do. What I did, nothing wrong. What he did, a lot of people say substantially wrong. Uh, you can't have two tiers of justice in this country, but no, I want to go to all of my trials. These are all, again, these are all set up by Biden and the Democrats. This is, they are, this is their new form of cheating. This is, like last time, this is their new form of cheating. So far, I think it's gone very much against them. Yeah, please. I guess during the hearing, you said that Exxon left New York because of the New York Attorney General's case, but she actually, uh, Exxon actually left in 1989. No, they took, they took the rest of their divisions out. Yeah. I mean, they they, they left earlier. The they were treated very badly in New York. You could have had them in New York. They could have been paying a lot of money. Uh, but it wasn't with Tisha James. Oh, no, I think uh, if you take a look, you read the case, study the case, you'll see that they took big divisions out after that. They originally left and then they took the rest out. You just said you're going to, you could get President Biden on various issues you outlined. I didn't say I could get him on anything. I said he is using the weaponization of the DOJ and the FBI to go after his political opponent. And you just can't do that. Thank, thank you very much.